Hello, Alfredo Sanchez from KRGV. Um, obviously, you had experience at the G League uh, last year. What did, uh, did you take away from that experience and somewhat implement it to this year? Yeah, uh, the G League is a fun league to play in. Uh, it's very explosive. Leads can disappear in a moment's notice. So being able to play in an environment like that, knowing that basically every possession counts and, and not really falling asleep, no matter how big your league gets, is, is something I took took into this year and remember like, all right, no matter if you get up 20, 25, you got to be locked in the whole game because a team can come back and score with five or six possessions and then they're right back in the game. So knowing that from last year, I'm definitely going to take that forward and pass that information on to my, my newer teammates. Ray. Anthony, welcome to the Rio Grande Valley. My name is Ray Silva from South Texas Border Sports. I just got to ask you, uh, throughout the off season, what, what was the mindset coming into this training camp, and you you had mentioned that you wanted to improve your perimeter defense. Just how, how much on, on that's been progressed uh, through now leading up to game day now? Yeah, so I, I spent the whole summer working out with the Rockets and training with them, and, and they helped me a lot in getting stronger, getting my body the way I wanted to. So I've been able to develop that and, and use, I guess, my, my greatest advantage, my strength, to be able to, to wall up people and, and cut people off, use my body and being physical in order to deter people from going to the basket or getting to their spots. So that's been my biggest focus over the summer. And then through working out with the Vipers and coming to training camp, it's been really fine-tuning my details, my rotations, the little things on defense and the little tricks that you got to know in order to be effective. So I think that's been my biggest focus this summer. And I and I know that that's going to show through the first couple of games and into the season. Rashad? Um, hey, Anthony, how you doing? First Good. question, how does it feel to be back with the Vipers? And how does it feel to be in Rio Grande Valley instead of just in Florida and a bubble? Yeah, it's a, it's a lot better, man. Uh, everybody's really nice here. Everybody's really respectful, really kind. I'm, I'm very grateful for that experience, being able to meet some good people. And it's definitely better than being stuck in your hotel room for two months straight. So uh, it's, it's a, a vast improvement. I'm looking forward to, to playing for all the fans. Any more questions? Yeah, I got, I got one. And in regards to, obviously, the process of, getting a, a, another chance, um, you know, within a contract, how, how was it to, uh, for you, like getting that news that, you know what, um, I'm going to get another opportunity, not only for uh, with Houston, but also with the RGB Vipers uh, for the second time around? Yeah, it's a blessing, man. I'm, I'm really grateful for it. And being able to uh, continue playing basketball is always, always something to be thankful for, because I know a lot of my friends growing up aren't able to do it. And so I, I just take advantage of it every chance I can. So I'm just keep riding this thing out as long as I can, getting everybody and showing, I guess, put my best foot forward for everybody that sees me and puts their eyes on me. Ray? Anthony, I just got to ask you, you know, now just leading up to the season, uh, what, what's been the number one thing for you here in training camp that, uh, aside from the defense, uh, offensively, that you've been able to polish up and, and just see, and see the improvements on? Yeah, um, the biggest thing for me is, having more freedom at this level to, to explore my game or offense. I'm, I'm never going to be a guy that's going to ISO dribble a lot of people off their ball, but being able to be sharp in, in my attacking closeouts and being able to get to my spots and finishing drives, that's that's a, a big thing that I know that can complete my game and and allow teams at the, at the next level to say, like, all right, he can do this. He's not just this one-dimensional player, but he can still hit these shots and he can still make the right plays when somebody over closes out to him and, and get to the basketball career for somebody else. So that's what I've been really focused on. Last one with Rashad. I know you say you're working on your perimeter D, mm -hmm. but what other parts of your defensive quote unquote toolbox have you been working on? Um, I think that's like or it's really general. Like I think specifically, I've been putting a lot of work in on my body, and that really helps you overall. I think I have a good grasp of what type of defense we play as a team and as a unit, and what rotations I have to make off ball. My communication has always been my my greatest strength. So being able to do that and and finish off plays on defense and rebound the ball is always going to be something that we need. So those things come more natural to me, and I'm, I'm looking forward to showing them as, as the season progresses. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you guys. Thank you very much.